Hello everyone! Today we will continue learn about React. Today we will learn what its context is and how to use it, create log for deleting button and also make a check condition with message output if the case array is empty. Uh, I just uh, start our apps. It looks like this. We can uh, mark if we completed the, our uh, case and uh, we now uh, will delete this case, uh, create logic for this. So, uh, let's get started. Uh, there are several ways uh, to pass a value between uh, components. We use props. When we pass cases for uh, to-do list and after that for to-do items and uh, change uh, the state here. Uh, but if the nesting is much larger, in this case we can uh, use uh, the context. So, first of all, we create the new uh, file context. So great, and now we need to import React from React and uh, create context variable react create context so great and now we need to export it export default context we create our file context and now we need to use it in our app. For it, we just import this, import context from context. When we import, we need to use it for our app. For this, we just text context and text provider. So great. Uh, we created uh, wrap our component for context provider and now we need to create a function that will be delete uh, our cases for this uh, click uh, for this we just create a function const remove remove uh, for example cases And we will pass parameter ID for this function, and uh, we use set cases our uh, use state, and uh, we just need to use case and uh, use uh, method filter, and we will iterate for our cases. And uh, if case ID doesn't equals ID with uh, when mm, function will be passed, it just uh, create new array and uh, without this uh, element. So uh, single case, for example, single case ID doesn't equals id when we pass it so great we created remove cases and now we need to use this uh, for use it we just need to text for our context provider value and pass uh, this function for this we just text remove cases and save it so great uh, now we need to use it for our to-do item. For this we just go to our component to-do item and we need to import context and we need to import uh, our uh, 
a new hook it will be import user state user context from react so great now we just need to use it in text here const and uh, our uh, key it will be remove cases and uh, here we need to use a hook user context and pass for user context context so great now uh, we can uh, just call it for our button uh, for it we just need to text uh, uh, on click event on click and uh, there are exist several ways how to call or remove cases function for example first way we can use uh, callback function and uh, call remove case and pass parameter with uh, id and save it and after that we just can check it so great it's work and uh, uh, the next way how to call it it just uh, text uh, remove cases bind pass null and uh, the same props case id save it and it's work great so uh, you can choose uh, your way how to use this it's uh, just to create a new function this bind or use callback function for this example i just uh, we have callback function and now uh, i show you how to use bind so great Mm, but if we just uh, mark and delete all of our uh, cases we don't have uh, any uh, messages and we don't understand what the, what is it so for this we need to uh, go to our app and uh, create new div example and add class uh, for this to do uh, list for example and uh, here we need to use condition uh, and check if uh, if case lands uh, more than zero uh, it just uh, will call this to list and if uh, it's uh, equals less than zero we just uh, text the message uh, for example no case like this and save it uh, and uh, copy this class and go to our styles and uh, add style for better visibility and uh, for example we add uh, uh, element for the center and add for the size for example like this and uh, letter spacing and phone weight uh, example set like this so great and now we just go to uh, our uh, browser and see the result that uh, we have uh, message no cases if we reload the page we have uh, our elements we can mark it we can delete mark again delete delete and see the message no cases so great 
uh, in this video we create the uh, logic for delete button in the next time we create the logic for adding new uh, cases for our uh, array and uh, our apps uh, become uh, more complicated so thank you for watching uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel put likes leave comments it motivates me to release more cool video on youtube thank you bye